shapeshifters. Hello, I am, I don't want any bacon. I don't want any avocado. I think I did another video like this. We, I want some cereal. So I started doing research on just some different recipes for a low carb keto cereal, keto friendly cereal. And I found uh, several. So I'm gonna actually do one today for you guys. I am going to make low carb, keto friendly cinnamon toast crunch. So let's get started. Okay, first we are going to add one and a half cup of almond flour. We are going to add four tablespoons of flaxseed meal, one tablespoon of shredded coconut, one teaspoon bacon powder, half a teaspoon of sea salt, two tablespoons of cinnamon powder, One third cup of swerve, and we are going to mix all of that together. All of the dry ingredients we're going to mix together. So we want to mix all of the dry ingredients together really, really well. All of the dry ingredients together. teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is a staple so far in all of my desserts, keto desserts. And we want to mix that until we get like a dough-like consistency. Let's keep mixing that. And it should become like dough. We also want to add three tablespoons of water. That's going to help that dough-like consistency come. Yeah, I see it forming. There we go. Okay. It smells really really good guys so that dough like consistency is forming this in the refrigerator for about one hour and then I am going to come back and we are going to bake and while we bake we're going to make the little cinnamon crunch topping for when it is ready to come out of the oven. This is the consistency of the dough before it goes into the refrigerator. So, so I've taken the dough out of the refrigerator and I have two pre-cut pieces of parchment paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
place that all the dough um, on that and we are going to roll it out oh yeah that's very doughy all the stuff make sure your hands are clean i know you guys hands are clean look at that so you can um sort of spread it out with your fingers um i'm actually gonna put another piece of parchment paper on top of this and i don't know where or if i even have one here a rolling pin but i'm going to use this uh, this water bottle if it works. And if it doesn't, then I will I will just use you know spread it out with my hands like so. That makes it better. Be better if you had a rolling pin. So as long as it stays together. the parchment and some and you want to spread it out as thin as possible or as thick depending on how you want your squares to be Ooh, get a workout so i'm going to try to again my uh, makeshift roller this is when notes itself remember to pick up rolling pen i thought i had one um, but maybe, I don't know, if I start to declutter this area, maybe I will find it, because my kitchen is not clutter free, so I am improvising, guys, I want it to be as thin as possible. Again, a rolling pin would be nice. Improvise sometimes. Say so, yes. So I heat the, the the oven is heated up to three hundred degrees. Okay, and that's just ready. some butter I have some melted butter and I'm going to kind of put that spread that all over the mixture So good. Okay. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of works too. Put a little bit of that in here. Okay. Uh, 
I sprinkle it over. So this is how it's looking. Did you all see my makeshift rolling pin? Okay, so this is how it's looking. I have the butter, I have the cinnamon, and I have a little bit of swerve that I sort of dusted over it. And I'm about to cut with uh, the pizza crust roller or the pizza cutter, I think, or a knife. I'm going to try to cut in little squares. So you can actually take the fork now and kind of separate it and cook it that way. I think because I'm lazy, I'm just going to put this whole thing on the, um, the cookie sheet with the parchment, because uh, this is baking parchment paper, um, and then just break it up later. But you can, it may be easier to like sort of just kind of take a fork and separate it. Um, it's gonna be very lazy, guys. Do it this way. It smells good. I'm just gonna put this on the baking. Let's see if all fits. Okay, so pieces it over. Okay, so pieces that are hanging over, I'm gonna kind of put in the middle. Oh, it smells so good. We're going to let this bake for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, and I will see you guys in 20 or 30 minutes. So this is the final product. It's been cooling for a few hours. I am going to break it up and I'm going to store it in like a glass container or... Yeah, I think glass container, and I'm going to actually have a bowl. Okay. Mm. This is so good. Mm. 